Uh, today we're talking with Tom. Welcome to the program, Tom. Thank you for having us. And me. Thank you for having me. <laughs> what is your job? I'm the public information officer for Pinellas County when it comes to emergency preparedness. So I go out and tell people how to get ready for storms and tell people what's going on when the storms actually approach. And today we want to ask you about hurricanes. So what is a hurricane? Hurricanes are large storms that can affect the tropical areas, very warm areas. They need warm water to survive and they can bring a lot of damage um, through wind, through heavy rain, and something called storm surge, which is the seawater actually washing over certain areas. Uh, when is hurricane season? Hurricane season runs from June 1st to November 30th, but storms can happen outside of there as well, so that's why you always have to pay attention. Why are hurricanes so dangerous? Hurricanes bring four hazards, heavy rain, high wind, tornadoes, and storm surge. And that storm surge can kill a lot of people. That's why we order evacuations. How can people stay safe? How can people be safe during a hurricane? If you live in an evacuation area and you're under an evacuation order, you have to leave. Go someplace safe, a friend's house, a relative's house, out of the area, at a shelter. If you can stay at home, what you want to do is shutter your windows and protect your doors to make sure the wind can't get inside your house. What's the first thing we should do? The first thing you should do is find your evacuation level. You should understand if you have to leave for a storm or if you can stay and ride the storm out. But it's very important to have that first piece of information. You have to start there. What's a disaster kit? A disaster kit are all the essential items you need to survive from five to seven days. That includes food, water, medication, important papers like insurance policies. You need to have a, a radio so you can listen to news broadcasts, a flashlight, and other essentials for things like infants, uh, for seniors, for your pets. And what is the second most important thing we can do to be safe in a hurricane? Yes, you have to have a plan. A plan is the most critical portion of preparedness for hurricane season. You have to know what you're going to do when the storm comes. Where can people get more information about what to do during a hurricane? There are a couple of places you can go. The first one is the official hurricane guide for Pinellas County. You can pick it up at libraries, city halls, fire stations. You can also go to Pinellas County's emergency management website, which is www.pinellascounty.org slash emergency or you can call emergency management at 727-464-3800. Well our time is up for today. Tom, thanks for giving us some great information and thanks for telling us about Pinellas County. Thank you very much and stay safe. In order to find information about where to go and what to do in the event of a hurricane, visit www.pinellascounty.org for more information. If you go to the Pinellas County Government website, under Special Interests, you can find a link to Hurricane Preparedness. Click on that link and you can find the information that you need to do in order to be safe uh, during a storm. If you need to find out your evacuation zone, you can click on the evacuation map. You can look at checklists for the items that you should have in the event of a hurricane, what to do with elderly or people with special needs, how to take care of your pets, where to go for shelter or host homes, and what to do after the storm. One of the important things that you need to know is shelter options. So if you click on the shelter link, you can find information about public shelters. Here is a link for a list of public shelters in Pinellas County. You can find the closest public shelter to your house and it will tell you whether or not you can bring pets 
or they have uh, services for special needs people.